anyway, if you know Terry's work at all, it, it's about it's about life. It's uh, about humans and the planet they live on, and you can't really pigeonhole her works. Her books are never about any one thing. Um, they're, they're always challenging, and she's always changing. And uh, uh, she's also an incredible teacher. It, she's got a uh, summer uh, program through the University of Utah that uh, she runs down in Centennial Valley. It's a, just it's the most wonderful crew I've ever had the pleasure of working with. It's really a privilege to come down there. Um, You know, Terry's, uh, she's not afraid of getting busted. She got, you know, she's been busted a lot of times and, you know, <laughs> shaken down, you know, they, they're on the verge of confiscating her weapons, which consisted of a notebook and a pen. <laughs> she's never backed away from a conversation about death. You know, she's not afraid of death. She's not afraid of uncertainty or any species of ground squirrel I've yet heard of. <laughs> Uh, Terry believes in the literacy of, of, of knowing the plants and animals you live with. You know, you learn the proper names of birds and, and, uh, and the plants and such. And occasionally she'll, uh, she'll run you through a test, so you got to watch that, you know. And, uh, uh, I mean, for instance, you know, you could be walking along, a, um, you know, you could be walking along a shoreline with, with Terry, and, and then Terry will say, Doug, what's that? What's that bird up ahead, you know? And there's a shore bird with these, you know, kind of long legs and a long beak. And you realize that for 20 years, you've only known this bird as a marble dimwit. And you're going to flunk the test. And that flunked me. You know, uh, I'll, ter, ter, the, the patriarchy struggles with Terry, I think. And uh, um, not just, not just, Old people in the state of Utah, but even among my own, even among my own mentors, you know, and the few older men in my life that so guided me, uh, one of whom I talked to this afternoon, and he sends his love, but he had trouble with Terry's, uh, you know, finding beauty in, 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 in uh, the Rwanda book, you know, the fact that there were the slaughter of, of prairie dogs and, and Rwanda, you know, finding beauty in. Broken, Broken world? world. Got it. Uh, didn't plug that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. And uh, you know, and, and another, another friend would one wondered if, if he was going to hear anything new tonight. You know, well, Jesus, all you've got to do is read a paragraph of Terry Tempest Williams. You know, any day. And just a few days ago, I, I, you know, I, I stumbled across an interview that was only published in the Nation a couple of days ago about the tent, and. Uh, uh, you know, um, talk about new. I mean, that, that the interview really blew me away. Uh, you know, because it, it was an interview about a film that promotes um, nuclear uh, power as a solution to global warming. And uh, it's, you know, I wasn't so interested in the argument as the questions that Terry raised, and she does it in a way that's, you know, that, that's gracious and kind and you know, exasperatingly fair all the time. And uh, the, those are the great questions of, uh, you know, that are here today. You know, the myth of progress, uh, the, the, the idea that somehow we can have seven billion humans on a, on a finite planet, you know, using resources like we do today. Um, there's social uh, justice and global warming. Uh, we could end up with, with all the social justice we can have without a planet to practice it on. Everything is so mixed up these days. And the fact is, the third world people that have never had affluence, and such as we've enjoyed, may not even get their chance. You know, they're the first, uh, you know, the first place to succumb to the consequences of global warming are probably going to be the lowlands, Bangladesh. You know, and all it takes is a cross ice sheet to fall off, which, which could happen tonight, and that's 12 feet of sea rise. You know, displacement of almost a billion people in a month. So, and these, these, this is going to test our humanity in such, in such a deep way, uh, I don't really know where to go. And you know, the illusion of all is that 
we still believe that we're in charge, that humans are in charge of the planet, that we can chart our own course, we can, we can engineer our way out of this mess that we've created for ourselves by abusing you know, the, the Earth itself. And the Earth is, is, is striking back, and the consequences are not going to be pleasant, and uh, we're going to need you know, the wisest guys that we can find to, to nurture really a serious dialogue about the, about the survival and the love of all life. To be numb to the world is another form of suicide, Terry wrote, and, uh, you know, uh, the most important voice today writing about these things, I believe it's Terry Timms Williams, and even if I didn't love her, I still believe that. Thank <laughs> you.